Australia have made a roaring comeback into the series after leveling the, uh, the series, winning the fourth test by 146 runs. Gaurav Kalra is here with me. Gaurav, a big comeback for Australia, but a lot of questions that India will need answers to going into Melbourne. Yes, it's almost like the ghosts of their problems overseas have resurfaced now, Meha. They seem to have problems in various areas now. Obviously, they made a selection error. That uh, is something that they can rectify. However, what do they do about the players that are now so badly out of form or not being able to perform up to skill? That opening position is going to become a major talking point for India. Also, the fact that some of their senior batsmen, guys like Vijay and Rahane, are not kicking on and making runs. So suddenly, back to a familiar narrative overseas for India. How much of a difference did this selection, uh, you know, did, did Virat Kohli miss a trick? I know people have been talking about it. You saw Nathan Lyon who got a lot of wickets, but of course Nathan Lyon is a brilliant uh, bowler. Do you think Ravinder Jadeja would have made that difference had he been selected? Uh, I think that given how Umesh Yadav went in the match, uh, given that he was bowling, uh, uh, he, he didn't really have a great match. Uh, I think perhaps Jadeja could have made a difference, if not in anything else, but in a more controlling role that uh, could have allowed for uh, India to have attacked more with their other three seamers. Uh, also, I think this can happen. You can misread conditions in the sense that you can look at a track and say, right, the four fast bowlers are going to have an impact here. We don't have our frontline spinner available. Might as well go in with the four frontline bowlers. It's worked for them in the past. Remember back to the third test match in South Africa earlier on this year, Meha, yeah. where India played four fast bowlers and Hardik Pandya, five actually, and ended up winning the test match. So it isn't like it was a selection blunder in that sense, but obviously it backfired. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the openers now, Gaurav. This has been a problem for India. We've seen this throughout 2018. Both KL Rahul, Murli Vijay uh, not really getting the runs, haven't been consistent. And now you have a Prithvi Shaw injury. Uh, what is it that India will look to do? They've flown in Mayank Agarwal, but he's obviously not going to get time to acclimatize. This, this is going to be a difficult one for India. What do you think India are likely to do when they look at their opening positions? So yeah, this is going to be their, one of their major questions to answer now. Do they go into panic mode? If they go into panic mode, Meha, then what do they do? Do they actually drop both Murli Vijay and KL Rahul, bring in Mayank Agarwal and then punt on, say, someone like a Parthiv Patel who was picked as the spare opener in the squad yeah. originally? So open with a completely new opening combination of, uh, of uh, Mayank Kagarwal and Parthiv Patel or do they ask uh, Cheteshwar Pujara to go up and open the batting given that he's shown at least that he can bat time or Rohit Sharma who's been making noises about uh, wanting to open the innings if the team management so desires ask him to do it obviously it will be condition specific but it's not ideal because what happens as a result of an iffy opening partnership is guys like uh, Virat Kohli get exposed very early on it was 8 for 2 the fact that he got a big 100 yeah. was uh, is separate but he comes in at 8 for two with the Australian uh, tail up uh, with their uh, with their bowling attack. So quite clearly, this is a huge conundrum now for India going into Melbourne.